It's the 13th of June, exactly 24 hours before my first exam, the OSCE. Oh man, it's so freaking weird to think that tomorrow at exactly this time I will be in the OSCE exam because I checked my time and I'm group 3 for the OSCE which means that I, my exam starts tomorrow at exactly 10.55 in the morning uh, and it will last for about like around 1 hour and right now it's almost 12 so yeah I will be probably at the last station tomorrow at, at this exact same point and this is like sort of giving me goosebumps <laughs> even though I'm not stressed but you know OSCEs can be a bit you know nerve pinching or nerve wrenching whatever <laughs> Achievement unlocked. I'm just gonna have some biryani at the library and the whole library is gonna smell like my food. You gotta do what you gotta do, man. Hashtag brown people problems. <laughs> oh, so it's 5.30 p.m. right now and my brain is completely dead too much because it's like you have to be focused on what you want to do right because oh, so it's 5 30 p.m. right now and my brain is completely dead completely dead I mean I've been trying to study and whatever I study just goes in and goes out at the same time I'm not able to like sort of really absorb the information that I'm trying to um, consume um, but at the same time there's just so much stuff to revise that I don't feel like going home either because normally on every exam like every like the day before my exam Every single time I just take like half the day completely off. I go home at like around 2 3 p.m. and then I completely wind off, do not study, maybe relax, chill, watch a movie, hit the gym, something. But this time, it's a bit different, man. OSCE really hits your nerves um, a lot more than all the other sorts types of types of exams. Uh, because the trick with the OSCE is that it's like eight stations, right? And then seven minutes per station, and then you have to change, like you have you get a new case after every station so that like, you have to constantly um, readjust your brain towards a new station however if it's, if it's let's say a clinical exam with one patient you just sit down with the same patient for 45 minutes you know it's the same case but here you will get like eight different cases in the span of one hour so the plan now is that I'm gonna probably study for like one more hour or maybe one and a half till 7 p.m. and then head home and call it finally a day I cannot wait to get done with this thing man seriously It's time to finally go home. I'm all done. My brain is cooked. It's freaking dead. And tomorrow, this is the exact place where I will be having my exam registration 30 minutes before the exam. Honestly, man, I'm tired. And I'm also uh, nervous. I'm stressed. Uh, but what I'm consistently trying to tell myself is that first of all, it's, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun man, I have studied hard, I have done my best, I have tried my best to manage um, and you know keep all these, like juggle all these balls, YouTube, work, family, schools, friends um, and also the exam studying. I have done my best and the rest is not up to me, it's not in my control. So I have done everything that I could, the rest we will see. And it's going to be fun, it's my time, it's my time to shine, it's the moment where I show the teachers, or the you know doctors what I have learned throughout the semester. It's my time to freaking shine. 7 p.m. time to head home and chill for the rest of the evening. Seriously, wish me luck guys, fingers crossed. Here's the link to all the other episodes in this Road to Medical School exam series. And yeah, before leaving, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys tomorrow on exam day. <laughs>